Hey there guys, it's XI Forsaken, and in today's video I'm just going to be going over my loadout for the medium build in the finals. These are my characters I've got set up here, don't ask why they're dressed the way they are, I'm just trying to be as memeable as I can. So to get started on the medium build, I have the healing beam about 90% of the time because I very rarely need the assistance of the turret. And I try and make up for the turret by using the gadgets here. The main purpose of the healing beam is not only can you go and defib your teammate and heal them up to full health within a matter of seconds, but it also offers great support for if you have a heavy that has like a shotgun or however they're trying to run their play, to just kind of go in there and heal them while they go and break the damage and whenever it gets too much for them they can pop their shield and then you can go in for cleanup. And if I'm using the turret, it's when I'm lacking a heavy and just trying to protect the objective as long as I can. But again, I just use gadgets rather for protecting if I need to. For the weapon, I prefer to use the AKM just because I'm not always feeling the most accurate to use the R357. So if I'm using the AKM, it's just I'm warming up for the day and I don't feel like I'm going to be hitting all my shots, so I stay away from the handgun. The F car isn't a very good trade off for me. I like the red dot sight, but it doesn't really make up for having 20 bullets in the mag rather than having 36. For the shotguns, I don't much care for them just because it's just not my play style. I'd prefer to run and gun and or a cowboy over here. As for the gadgets, I use the explosive mine, and if I'm not using the explosive mine, it's the gas mine. I use these interchangeably. For the explosive mine, I'll either use it as kind of a means to get into an area where it's a little bit more packed with enemies. So I'll throw this on top of a group of people, and hopefully they set it off and they blow a chunk of damage to them and the ones around them. So that way it gives me that opening to get in there. And then the gas grenade is kind of the cleanup, like I'll throw that on top of them as well to just try and further add to the damage. And I don't use the gas grenade if I'm using the gas mine because when I use the gas mine instead of the explosive mine, I'm trying to hold off the objective more so I'll shoot the gas mine off myself rather than leave it up to chance that the enemy sets it off. Just kind of deters them from grabbing the cash out and makes it a little bit more difficult for them to get in. And using the pyro grenade is also good, like in place, I use that in place of the gas grenade if I'm using the gas mine. So that way I can get rid of the fire if I need to get in there for some reason or it's just a uh, time I need to get in and defuse that gas so that way I can get closer to the objective myself or get my escape. And I never take the defibrillator off, that's my go-to. I find that's the main purpose of even being a medium, is to be able to heal your team and revive them as quick as possible. Using the jump pad is kind of out of the ordinary for me, because that means I have to replace one of these two, and I really try not to. I'd get rid of the gas grenade before I got rid of the explosive mine or the gas mine, just because that would probably be the most optional one in the setup and I only use the jump pad if I need some way of getting around the map and we just for lack of better reasons have any way to get around so I'll throw on the jump pad because I don't very much use the zip line and even then it's hoping you have a teammate that also has the jump pad on their setup but if I need to then I'll use it just to get around better and yeah as for the dressing of the character, don't ask me on that. I'm just trying to rock the most memeable look that I can. And I find it probably makes people feel a little bit worse about losing when they lose to a guy who looks like that. But other than that, yeah, if you like this video, please drop a like on the video, a comment down below, especially if you've got any class setup tips. Uh, what you do and what you try and do mainly as your class, whether it's light, medium, or heavy, and just your overall playstyle. Also, don't forget to drop a subscription to my video as I'll be dropping future videos on the finals and build setups and possibly even in-game glitches and stuff like that. 
So please stay up to date, hit that bell, and stay subscribed. And thank you very much for watching.